Green Anaconda versus King Cobra. Who is the king of the snakes? The Green Anaconda and the King Cobra are two of the most dangerous reptiles on the planet. Despite the fact that these two reptiles are found in very different parts of the globe, a conflict between them is difficult to anticipate. The deadly toxin of the King Cobra can kill large animals in a short time. The green anaconda, on the other hand, is an enormous animal with tough muscles that can crush an animal into death within a few minutes. The green anaconda of South America is the world's largest snake pound for pound. It is a member of the boa family. In South America, the anaconda is known by the Spanish term matatoro, which means bull killer, as well as the Native American terms sucuri and yakumama. The king cobra, one of the world's most venomous snakes, can actually rise up and stare a fully grown human in the face. They can raise up to a third of their body off the ground and yet rush forward to attack when confronted. Size and Description Green anacondas are one of the world's largest snakes. Females have a much larger size than males. They can grow up to 30 feet, 9 meters long, 12 inches, 30.5 centimeters in diameter, and weigh 550 pounds, 250 kilograms. Anacondas are robust, stocky snakes with a thicker body than other boas. Their necks are thick and their heads are narrow but massive. The tops of anacondas' heads have nostrils and eyes, allowing them to see above the water while remaining mostly submerged. From the eye to the mouth, they feature a black line. These olive-green anacondas have dark oval patches on their spines and similar spots with yellow centers on their sides. Their belly scales are yellow and black. The king cobra's average size is 10 to 12 feet, 3 to 3.6 meters, but it can reach 18 feet, 5.4 meters. The king cobra weighs between 11 and 20 pounds, 4.5 to 9 kilograms. The king cobra, like other snakes with the name cobra, may flatten its neck, giving it the distinctive hood. When threatened or attacked, the king cobra would hiss, rear up, and compress its neck ribs into the hood. Even though their scaly skin glistens, it is actually dry to the touch. Adult cobras are yellow, green, brown, or black. Their throat is light yellow or cream-colored. Juveniles are black with yellow or white bars crossing the body. Range and Habitat Green anaconda's range extends east of the Andes Mountains across much of South America. They are found as far south as Paraguay and as far north as Venezuela and Colombia. Brazil, Ecuador, Trinidad, Peru, Guyana, and Bolivia are all common sighting places. Rivers meandering through tropical rainforests are the most common habitat for these reptiles. Streams, rivers, river basins, wetlands, marshes, and swamps are their natural habitats. They spend a majority of their time in the water due to the fact that swimming allows them to move considerably more easily. On land, they're pretty heavy, but in the water, they're almost undetectable. Southeast Asia, southern China, and India are home to king cobras. Forests, bamboo thickets, streams, and marshes are among their natural habitats. The climate where these snakes reside is hot and humid. They spend a majority of their time in trees where they blend in with the dense green branches. They will occasionally hang from a tree branch in order to capture another snake. King cobras sometimes drop from the treetops to hunt for food on the forest floor. 
To find food, they may travel to nearby streams. These reptiles are capable of swimming and have been observed moving through the water. Diet Green anacondas, like other snakes, are carnivores. They capture their prey with their powerful teeth, then use their muscular bodies to suffocate the prey before swallowing it whole. They can detach their jaw, like most snakes, to swallow prey much larger than themselves, though they are careful to weigh the risk of injury with large prey. They devour a wide variety of animals and are opportunistic apex predators. Deer, capybara, caimans and large birds are among the larger species that adults can consume. Males are occasionally cannibalized by females, especially during breeding season. The diet of the king cobra snake is primarily snakes, ophiophagy, a specialized form of feeding or alimentary behavior of animals that hunt and consume snakes. Although the king cobra prefers non-poisonous snakes, it will consume venomous snakes such as crates and Indian cobras. Cannibalism is a frequent thing. When food is limited, king cobras will feast on lizards and other small vertebrates. They swallow their victim fully, head first, as do other snakes. The snake's top and bottom jaws are attached by flexible ligaments, allowing it to swallow animals larger than itself. Behavior Anacondas are nocturnal and live a solitary life. The time of day when anacondas are most active is at night. They spend most of their life in the water, keeping submerged for extended periods of time. When the temperature rises during the day, Anacondas become more active towards dusk when the temperature drops. They frequently travel long distances in a short period of time, notably in the dry season or when they are looking for mates. These anacondas are polyandrous, which means that a female can mate with multiple males, whereas each male can only mate with one female. A female can give birth to up to 82 young, after a seven-month incubation period. Young babies are completely independent. They are not protected or cared for by their mothers and must be able to fend for themselves. Though it has a reputation for being aggressive, the king cobra is actually shy. If it is at all possible, it would avoid people and other animals. It is classified as a solitary reptile. The group is known as a quiver when they are observed together during the breeding season. A king cobra's protective position is one of the reasons why they are considered aggressive reptiles. A king cobra's venom isn't incredibly powerful. The amount of venom it can inject into a person or animal in a single bite, on the other hand, is enough to kill an elephant or 20 people. The venom causes respiratory distress and cardiac failure. Who would win a fight between a green anaconda and a king cobra? Because the king cobra and anaconda live in different geographical and climatic regions, a fight between the two snakes is rare. Nonetheless, if it does happen, it will be fascinating to see who wins. They have evolved to adapt to a variety of geographical and climatic circumstances. This suggests that the fight's location may have an impact on the fight's outcome. If you did bring them together, the size of the anaconda would play a big role. If we assume that they are both average size adults, it's entirely possible that they would kill each other. While the anaconda is an aquatic snake, the king cobra is a good swimmer and enjoys being in the water as well. Because the anaconda does not eat snakes, the cobra king will almost certainly be the aggressor. In addition, king cobras are widely considered to be the most intelligent snake species. It would probably certainly know that fighting the anaconda would be useless 
because it would be too big to swallow. But if a battle were to break out, in my opinion, both snakes would die. The largest venomous snake, the King Cobra, has enough venom to kill an adult elephant. If the anaconda was attacked, most likely it would defend itself by wrapping its coils around the cobra and squeezing it to death before the venom took effect. Although, in the end, the cobra's venom will take effect, and the end will come for the anaconda as well within an hour. What is your opinion? Also, don't forget to enter the community page of the channel and vote for this fight. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button. Until next time, farewell.